because I served my mission uh, probably a little bit longer ago than a lot of the people you're uh, interviewing, in some ways things were so different. You know, we didn't have a lot of the uh, conveniences and a lot of the um, technology that they have now. So in some ways, even though I don't feel that old, we were old school in a lot of ways, I know. But um, one thing that was still fairly prevalent in Missouri when I was there was the knowledge of and awareness of the RLDS Church, which has since changed. Uh, I think it's the Church of Christ or something, but at the time they were known as the Reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So oftentimes we would get confused with the RLDS Church, uh, which was based in Independence, but there were still quite a few members still practicing members in my mission. So it was not uncommon to come across members of the RLDS Church. So we as missionaries had to have somewhat of a knowledge of what the differences were. We had to have kind of a basic knowledge of where the church split off and where those two uh, paths kind of diverged and what the core and central beliefs are of RLDS members of the church as opposed to LDS members of the church and that was interesting to me. I hadn't done any research. I didn't have very much knowledge going into my mission about that. I certainly knew from church history that there were that that church existed but then being able to actually visit with and um, meet and even teach some R RLDS members of the church was a really interesting and eye-opening experience because what I found was that at the end of the day we're all a lot the same and they're not some strange cult, they're not some strange break-off group, just like we're not. And got to realize that we're all um, doing what we feel is right and there are a lot of good people out there. So I remember as we would um, have zone conferences and training uh, from both our mission president and from even some general authorities who came in, uh, a lot of that sometimes was really specific to um, what, what we would uh, what would we do if, if we encountered members of the church and I never converted or baptized anyone into the LDS church from the RLDS church but I did come away with a real great respect and love for those people knowing that they were following their convictions and that they had also a testimony of Joseph Smith being a prophet uh, but their path had just taken them kind of down a different uh, different road and through um, uh, kind of a different journey but uh, it still taught me a lot about the fact that uh, we're a lot the same, people are the same, and they're good people all trying to do the same thing. And that was something that was really unique at the time to that, that mission, the Missouri-St. Louis mission. And I don't know what has happened in the meantime to the church, to the RLDS church, uh, as far as how much membership is there now, but I know that it was, a, it was a relevant thing at the time, and it was something that was fairly common to, to to deal with and to encounter as a missionary out there. So that was always interesting to me.